and uh, the Mongolian can bat ball bata. Well, we had a full rundown of who's who from Mongolia earlier on, so I'm not going to um, take you through that again. Suffice to say that they are one of the strongest uh, nations, not just here, but uh, in Asia and in world judo. A real force to be, uh, to be reckoned with any time they step on to the tatami. Ganbat having to do battle with uh, Che now. Nice attack there. Couldn't quite finish it off. Good work. That's something in the um, preparatory stage from Ganbat, that attack there. That uh, almost drop Kataguruma type attempt from the Mongolian. No doubt he's working on that uh, somewhere in Ulaanbaatar. <laughs> By the time that London comes round, he'll have that. Uh, he'll have that complete, mind you. It's not uh, done and dusted that Ganbat will be the one who goes, because um, they're missing from this competition. Uh, Davidoj Tumurkeleg. He uh, picked up an injury just before. He came out here, and there's also Chimid uh, Yonden, Bolbata. So, it ain't over yet as far as um, selecting the Mongolian to represent them uh, in London. Ganbat's in at 15, and Chimid uh, Yonden's in at 12, and I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um uh Davdorsh Tomerkaleg is up there at eight. Or th or thereabouts. He's pretty high up anyway. So you've got three in qualified positions. Which I'm not sure if they'll have a fight off or who wins the national championships or some kind of selection. They haven't yet decided. But there are a few countries who are in that lucky position of having uh, some choice about uh, about who goes. Two minutes 40 odd to go. Ganbat looking to get close to uh, uh, the Korean Che that um, wants to wrap that right arm around the waist and then go up under the um, armpit with the left hook in for the uh, Koso Dagaki. That's that's the thinking anyway. Che Guang Hyun, a little bit passive here. Needs to get uh, needs to get going. He's taken over from uh, uh, Che Mino, the Olympic champion from uh, Beijing. At uh, under 60 kilos, Che Mino has moved up to 66 now. Not quite having the same kind of. Uh, Success. There are a few others in there for Korea at uh, under 66, or sort of longer established. Anne is one of them, and uh, then you've got the younger uh, Cho Jun Ho, who's uh, I think he's going to be the one that will go to London. Cho, and we'll see him uh, a little bit later on. Cho Jun Ho is going to face um, Tomasz Kowalski when we uh, get round to doing the under 66 kilo category. It's a little bit of a way off, but uh, it's one of the ones that we'll try to uh, try to watch. Minute and a half left to go. No score yet between Che and uh, Ganbat.
That was the first good um, attack from the Korean. Minute 11, 1-1-1, one, one, one. Nelson on the board here. Let's see if uh, something happens in this exchange. Just stepped off that uh, attack and this time that was better. Almost finished him off there. Second good effort um, from Che with that left-sided drop Sianagi. Goes again, this time right side, it almost countered. Could have been um, Tsurikomi Goshi from Che that time round. No, it was um, Moroti Sionagi. I didn't have the um, a good angle, but that replay showed it. Um, Pretty clear. Last 20 odd seconds. A few of these now are beginning to go to golden score. It's not surprising when you've got that kind of uh, close, close matched competition all tightly packed up there in the uh, top 10 in the world so he's about to have a few um, a few close ones This one is going to go to golden score. About beginning to um, blow a little bit here. Jay's conditioning looks pretty good. Maybe goes with that right arm around the waist again. Didn't come off this time. Another good effort. That's three. He's going to take it just on the strength of the better quality attacks. He's gone uh, right sided there. And now Ganbat looking for the Shimiwaza. I'll call a Mate here. Just over a minute and a half left to go. Still no score. A 
That was the uh, weakest of the uh, Seragi efforts from Che, but um, <coughs> I don't think you can be surprised with that uh, level of commitment from him. It's bound to be um, taking its toll now. Just over a minute to go. Ganbat coming within, coming back with his own Serenagi effort. That was pretty, um, pretty weak. So no chance of catching Che with that one. See, the power isn't there any longer. Into the last minute in golden score, you can, you can turn in with reasonable um, speed, but there just isn't the power there anymore from Che Guang Yon. Ganbat, equally, you know, they've reached the point where there's just very little left now, and they're just going to see out these last few seconds. Left-sided, low Tayatoshi effort there from uh, Che. He's had the best, the best efforts. Really has. Ganbat just hasn't um, been able to come up with something big enough to really trouble uh, Che Guang Hyun. And I think it'll be the Korean who takes this on uh, on the hand tie. All three going to uh, Che Guang Hyun of Korea. And it'll be Che who goes into the next round to fight Hiroaka, Hiroaki um, of Japan. That'll be the next uh, contest. Beg your pardon.